Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that y'all are all having an amazing day. I wanted to start this video off by talking about a book that I'm currently reading. Well, I actually just started it. It's called Becoming Calder, and this is actually by the same author who wrote Archer's Voice, which is a very well-known, very loved book. I actually read it last year, and it was a five stars for me. I loved that book so much. So my sister got me this for Christmas, and it's just been sitting on my shelf ever since. I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it, but I started it today and I'm only one chapter in. Yeah, I've only really read the prologue and then like a some other section, but it says I'm on chapter one. I'm gonna read a little excerpt from the back. It says, there is a place in today's America with no electricity, no plumbing, and no modern conveniences. In this place, there is no room for dreams, no space for self-expression, and no tolerance for ambition. In the community of Acadia lives a boy named Calder with the body of a god and the heart of a warrior. He dares to dream of more, especially when an angel-faced girl his age is brought to their community. Calder and Eden were never meant to be friends, certainly never meant to fall in love, but as she and Calder steal fleeting moments and forbidden kisses, their hearts grow dangerously tangled and it's too late to heed the warnings. So, seems like it's gonna be a cute little like, maybe summer kind of love story. Um, I'm really excited. It's not like a thick book, but it's definitely like it's got some weight to it. So I was sitting outside at reading. It's, I don't wanna say it's a beautiful spring day. It is actually like really cloudy, but it's in the low 70s and there's a breeze and it just feels really good. And also rainy weather is just really nice to read in. I just, I feel like everyone loves reading in rainy weather where you can like cuddle up with a book. So I think I'm gonna go read outside just a little bit more and see how far I can get in this. But today is probably gonna be focused on reading. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, which is down below. And yeah, let's get on with the video. <laughs> guys it's the next day i ended up reading 76 pages of this yesterday i started the book got to page 76 which is not my best day but it's pretty good and then this morning i read two chapters and made it to page 100 so so far today i've read 24 pages but this book is it's fine like it's not i'm not having like no i am having a little bit of trouble reading it but that's not what i'm trying to say it's just this book isn't making me like really want to read like a lot like I don't want to binge read this book I just I'm not connecting with the characters like that so I wanted to start a book that I know that I would connect to the characters and that is the next book in the Addicted series. I've actually taken a pretty good break from reading from this series. I think I've read like four books since then so we're going back to that. There's only two books left in the series that I have left. And the one that I'm reading now is the second to the last. It's called Long Way Down. I keep wanting to say Long Way Home, like One Direction, but it's called Long Way Down. Wait, Long Way Home is Five Sauce. Long Way Down is a One Direction, is a One Direction song, isn't it? Am I losing my mind right now? Either way, this book's called Long Way Down and it's a thick book. It has like 700 pages, which the last two books are the longest, but this is Rike and Daisy's point of view. Every book is kind of like a different, kind of focused on like a different character um, or like a different couple. So this one is Rike and Daisy and I just know I'm gonna love this book. I love these characters. It's like one of my all time favorite series. Um, and so yeah, I'm hoping that being able to read both will not only just help me read more, so that you know it'll kind of make more content for y'all but i'll just have a better time honestly and i just like reading for my kindle so i'm excited for that and as sad as i am to be in the last two books of this whole series because i don't want it to be over i'm also excited because i'll be able to say i read the full series so that's where i'm at right now i'm about to sit down start long way down and i will talk to you guys in a little bit <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the next morning and I'm laying in bed reading right now but I forgot to update y'all last night. So I read a page 41 last night on the Kindle and then of the physical book I read 24 pages yesterday so I only read 65 pages yesterday which is not that good but we're gonna do better today. I'm gonna make it to 100 pages today and yeah i'm just feeling good about it so i'm laying in bed right now it's like 10 a.m and i'm gonna read for a little bit on the kindle i'm already really enjoying the story like i knew i would so yeah i'm gonna read this for a little bit and 
I will talk to you guys in a little bit. And when the sun is high, don't know if I'm friend or foe, but I guess I'll come to find when it's time. Shattered glass still shine when the sun is high. If my hair is so frizzy, I'm sorry. It is a very humid day, but. I've actually read a little bit of both of the books today. So I've read 38 pages on my Kindle from the book Long Way Down. I'm still trying to get used to that. I keep thinking it's Long Way Home still, but so I've read 38 pages of that and obviously I'm still loving the Addicted series. It's so good. I just cannot get enough of these characters. And then this book, I honestly don't even know. So I started on page 100 and I'm on page 115. So I've only read one chapter, which was 15 pages. So what's that? 38 plus 15, 58, I think. Yeah, I've read 58 pages today so far. So I'm over halfway there, which if I don't get to 100, that's fine. Like this isn't a video where I'm trying to read 100 pages a day, but I feel like I've just read so little the last two days. So I wanna make it to 100 today. So I'm over halfway there and it's only four o'clock. So I still have a lot of time left, but yeah, I don't even know what I wanna pick up next. I feel like I just wanna keep reading the Addicted series, but I know that if I do that, this book, I don't want to say may never get read, but definitely not in this video. Like it'll definitely get finished, but it may take me like a week and it just cannot take me that long. So yeah, I'm going to read a little bit more and I will talk to you guys once I hit my hundred page mark. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, but I still needed to update y'all on what I read yesterday. So between the book I read on my Kindle and this physical book, I read 80 pages, which literally still did not make it to 100 like I wanted to, but it's fine. That's what makes this video realistic. It's just, I'm, I'm just honestly surprised that I'm not reading as much as I feel like I normally do. Like I feel like 80 pages is just not normal for me. And I think 80 has been the best I've done so far this whole video. So yeah, not sure what's happening, but so I started this morning at page 106 on my Kindle and I'm now on 123. So that's what, 17 pages? Yeah, I've read 17 pages on my Kindle today. And then I know I started on 115 for this book and I'm on 129. So 14 pages plus what 17 is 31 so i've read 31 pages today total and yeah it's honestly still really early and it's literally getting darker by the second as i'm filming this it's supposed to storm soon so we all know how stormy weather is it's stormy weather is just made for reading so i'm randomly craving a red bull and so i think i'm gonna go get a red bull from the gas station real quick around the corner and then i'm gonna come back and read i'm either gonna sit on my patio while it starts raining and read or just kind of like leave the door open sort of situation but yeah i'm honestly really enjoying this book more than i was it's getting better and better i don't know i think the romance is just getting better in this book sorry if you can hear the workers outside at my apartment they're like doing the lawn right now but yeah, this book's getting this book is getting a lot better so i'm happy about that yeah i'm gonna turn it in this clip because they're being really loud out there but i'm gonna go get my red bull and we're gonna sit outside and read while it starts raining is getting so so good it's getting so much better as i'm getting further into it so i think the last time i talked to y'all i was still on page 115 and now i'm on page 181 so i've been sitting outside with the red bull that i went and got and i've read to page 181 so it's getting a lot better it's basically just about this like religious compound and these two kids they're 18 but calder and eden they they're starting to realize that they want to experience more than what this compound is giving them they want to see what the real world is like and i feel like at first this is why i didn't like it it seems like a very religious book not very religious but the first i would say like 50 pages talk more about just the compound and it was getting really slow but that's not what the whole book is about i promise they now they're trying to escape they don't want to live in this compound anymore they want to see what the world has to offer they're very closed off like the leaders in this compound 
purposely like close them off to the real world and so they want to like get out of that and they also want to be together which they can't because it's looked down upon like they cannot be together and they're falling in love so now they're trying to figure out a way to escape this compound and it's just getting a lot better with like the romance and the escape plan and it's it's getting a lot better so I don't think I've read any more on the Kindle long way down. I don't think I've read any more of that since I last talked to y'all. And I honestly just want to keep reading this. I I want to keep reading this because I need to finish this book in this video. Um, and I just don't think realistically I'm going to finish this one because this book is like 700 pages and I'm only on page 123. So I'm already halfway through this book. So I think I'm just going to keep reading this. And honestly, I want to now. Like what a turn of events. What a change of whatever like it's just getting so good now so i think i'm gonna sit down keep reading this and yeah i've read a total of 83 pages today so far so we're already doing better than every other day and it's only four o'clock so we're definitely gonna hit 100 pages today i know that for a fact um so i'll either talk to you guys tonight or in the morning and let you know how far I got. I ended up reading 189 pages yesterday, guys. 189. I was so close to 200, but that was by far the best day I've done so far. I literally almost finished this book. Look how close I am. I honestly wanted to finish it last night, but it was like midnight and I just was so tired. So, but yeah, I'm starting today on page 274 for this book. And I think I'm on page like 140 something or 150 something for this book so yeah definitely gonna finish this today I have like 105 pages left of this um and I'm about to sit here and read this I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this just get it out of the way before I keep reading on my kindle so yeah I'm about to lay in bed and keep reading this don't mind how crazy my hair looks I know it looks literally insane but i just finished this book and wow the ending of this book was crazy i don't know how this book went from being so kind of like boring in the first half to just literally just going off the rails in the second half like i it was really good that's not what i'm saying like there were just so many plot twists in the end especially the last like 20 pages i mean my mouth was literally hanging open and there were times I had to go back and reread a part because I was like, did I miss something? Like, wh where did this come from? But it was so, so good, guys. Definitely not five stars. I'm I'm still thinking about the rating. Just know that it will be somewhere around like 3.75 to 4. Um, but it was just insane. I, I want to give a warning to everyone that when you start the book, it may seem like it's taking a very religious aspect but that's not the case. It's just, it takes place, you know, on a religious compound, like a cult, literally. And throughout the book, you'll realize that that's not what it is at all. It's literally a romance book about people wanting to escape this cult. And it's just insane knowing that real things like this happen in the world. I mean, like I've said, I've watched so many documentaries about stuff like this, like uh, the Waco compound in Waco, that's not what it's called. What was it? it was like the Branch Davidians in Waco. You should go watch that show. I think it's on Netflix. But I mean, that literally is like almost the exact same thing that happened in this book. This one just like had the added romance between two people. Um, so yeah, literally crazy ending. Highly recommended. Again, this is the same uh, author as Archer's Voice and everyone loves Archer's Voice. So it was really good writing. Um, so yeah, probably gonna be somewhere out of four stars and there's actually a sequel to this book called Finding Eden, I think. So it, this one's becoming Calder and then Finding Eden is the second one. So I'm definitely not in like the biggest rush to pick up the sequel, but I will read it eventually because I need to know what happens. This book ended on a cliffhanger. So that's what happened today. Finish this. Uh, it was 110 pages to the end of this book from where I started this morning. So I've read 110 pages so far. I It's only four o'clock, so I have half the day left. I think I'm gonna take a little break because I literally read the last 110 pages for like two hours straight on the couch. So I need a little break from reading, but I think I'm just gonna enjoy reading on my Kindle the rest of the day. I'm not gonna pressure myself to read a lot because like I said, I've already read 110 pages today, but 
yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my day. I'll either talk to you guys tonight or in the morning because today is the last day of the challenge. So I'll talk to you guys tonight or tomorrow and let you know how much or what my total reading count was for today. Okay guys, it is the next morning. I wanted to update y'all and give y'all my full stats for the last day, which was yesterday. So obviously I finished Becoming Calder. I read 110 pages of that. And then honestly, I read like a chapter or two of this last night. I just already had read so much from that book in one sitting that I was kind of over reading. So I don't know exactly. I honestly did not like look at where I started this yesterday, but I think I, I mean like I read one or two chapters. So I'm just gonna say it was around 20 pages. So that would make yesterday 130 pages. Um, so yeah, the last two days I did really, really good. I don't know, maybe I was in a little slump the first half of the week because I was only reading like 60, 70 pages and then it just suddenly like doubled or tripled in the last two days. So yeah, but that's what makes this stuff realistic. And that's why I love realistic videos because I'm not like expected to do a certain amount or, you know, anything special. So, but on that note, that means the video is over. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate all of you and I want all of you to be my besties. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.